Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel, The Sevi Professor. In this video, we are going to understand how PayPal invoicing work. PayPal invoices are a great way of sending invoices to customers for the products and services you offered. PayPal keeps things tidy, arranged and up to date on payments received. The great thing about PayPal invoicing is your client or customer doesn't have to have a PayPal account to pay you, but PayPal invoicing acts as rather a mediator or a gateway to receive money. Additionally, as it's a mediator, there will be charges on the payments that you receive through PayPal invoices. The fees for different payments methods as displayed on your screen, which is generally between 3% to 6% and there is no monthly charge for the invoicing. Now, let's see how to create and send PayPal invoices. First of all, go to paypal.com and log into your account. Once you're logged in, you will be on the dashboard from the main menu on top. Click on send and request to open the payments section. Here on the right click on send and invoice. And you will be on the invoices section. Here enter the email you want to send the invoice to. Then under what are they paying for? You can choose already added products. But since this is first time, we will click on create new item. Then choose from goods and services on the top. I will choose goods, then enter the name of the product or service. I will put products category first, then quantity, set the price per unit, add description if you want like taxes and discounts. I will keep it empty and then click simply just click on done. Once you click on done, the product or item will be added. To add another, click on add more items and then add the things all together. Then you can add address of the customer. Once done, click on save at the bottom. Now to add more charges such as shipping charges incurred and import duties etc. You can add under add other charges but I won't add any. Under notes and attachments on the left, click on the drop down arrow to add noted. I will put please keep an eye for the shipment. Here. You can add or upload files such as the receipts, text information, import receipts and installation guides, transport info, etc. Now, we are done creating the invoice. From the preview on the right, PDF invoice is displayed. To see the mobile preview, click on mobile preview. Here, as you can see, the buyer can pay you through any of these options directly from the email that they get. Once you send the invoice to a person, they will get an email from PayPal stating an invoice is sent to them and they can straight away pay through these payment options. Then to see the email preview, click on email preview on the right. Now let's say you want to change the date and the due date of the invoice. For that, click on the invoice on the left, then enter the invoice date you want. Further, you can go one step ahead and even put due date, which can be a specific date or in 10 days or 15 days and so on. Finally, just click on save and we have finished our invoice. Now, make sure everything is in order and if it is, just click on send on the right and the invoice will be emailed to the buyer. They can pay directly from the mail and the money will be credited to your PayPal account, deducting the fee depending on the payment method the buyer used. You will be notified once the payment is done by the buyer through email and PayPal app notification. This is how PayPal invoicing works. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, then don't forget to smash that like button and also subscribe to the channel. I will see you in the next one. Till then, take care.